Hello and welcome to another training video. Now today we're going to be taking another look at Power BI and here is a problem I was given on a recent training course. Um, the delegate wanted to drill through using the drill through feature to an alternative page which gives more detail um, but they wanted to do this not on a single selection but on a multiple selection. Now the drill throughs that are built in only allow you to drill through using a single selection filter. Now what do I mean by this? Well, here I have some uh, state categories and on my drill through page, which is called stores, what I have done is I have state added within the drill through options. And what this means is that from anywhere where state is used as a category, I can drill through to this page to see the detail on this page with just that one state selected. So at the moment it's showing all of the states, there is no filter applied. But if I come back to my foods and I choose, for example, California, right click on that, drill through to my stores page, it will select California and drill through to the page with California as my filter. Now, if I clear that, so I've just cleared the fact that California is my filter, it now goes back to showing me all of the states. Now what we wanted was we wanted to be able to do this but with multiple items selected. Now unfortunately this is not a feature. So if we have multiple options selected, when we go to that page, however we go to it, so if I say drill through to stores, it's only going to drill through to one of the categories. And in fact what it does is it drills through to whichever one I had clicked on right clicked on in order to do the drill through. So here is Colorado, and that is the filter setting that's applied. So how do we get around this? How do we make it so that we can drill through to that page, but with multiple states selected? Well, we don't use a, strictly speaking, we don't use a drill through. What we are going to do though, is we're going to take this slicer and we're going to apply the same slicer to multiple pages and have it synchronized across those different pages. So in order to do that, we go to the view ribbon and we go to sync slices and we will see that this slicer that I have selected here at the moment, it's only applied and visible on the foods page. I want that to also be synchronized onto my stores page, but I don't want it visible on the stores page. So now, if I straight away go to the stores page, we will see that those same three things that I had selected are now selected on the stores page because there is a hidden synchronized slicer here. So what do we now need to do? Well, now from here, we need to have a way of navigating to that other page. Again, we can't use the right click drill through because that will drill through to the specific one that we right click on. So I've got two different ways of doing this here. One is by drilling through to the page. So I have a button here and the action on the button is simply a go to page button. So page navigation to stores. That would have the same impact as me just clicking on the stores. But of course, in the published report, no one can click on stores because it's hidden. So the tab is hidden. So the only way of getting to it is from either a drill through or a navigation option. So if I control click here, that will take me to the page and of course the slicer will be applied. Now if I go back to my foods page, the other one I've done here is I've set up a drill through bookmark. Now in order to see the difference here, this is an action, but the action is a bookmark and it's going to DTM, drill through multiple, that's the name of the bookmark. So in order to set up the bookmarks, I have a bookmark DTM and this had been updated when I was on the page here with no filters applied. So if I were to go to this page and hit DTM now, it would remember, normally it would remember what filters were applied when I set up the bookmark. But in this instance, I have unchecked my data so it does not remember the data settings from the bookmark. So it will synchronize the slicer and not reset the slicer to no filters. So that is important if you are using a bookmark button. 
Um, so let's see how that works. Well, simply control click on there and that goes through to the page with only the ones I had selected. Now, if I actually change that, so if I go back to my foods and I'm going to clear all of these slices, so there are now no filters, no slicer filters applied. If I go to my stores, we will see that that has synchronized as well. So I'm now seeing all of my stores. If I now update my DTM bookmark at this point, but I want data to be selected this time, so I've now updated it and the updating is remembering the fact that I have no filters applied. If I now go back to my foods and we will see in our sync slices that when I select this one, it is still set up to be synchronized across pages. I'm going to choose several items in there. But now when I go to my drill through bookmark, the bookmark itself remembers that I had no slicer applied and it clears all of the filters. So do be careful of that. It is important that you uh, uncheck that box on the bookmarks to make sure that it doesn't remember the data. And now what I'm gonna do is go back here and come through to my bookmark and it will now come through with the filters applied that were applied on the first page. If I just go through and do that again, I need to make sure that I have different filters applied because of course the slicer being synchronized when I went to the other page using the bookmark, the bookmark itself cleared the slices on this page because it was synchronized with the other page. So now I have them selected, I drill through and it's going to go to this page with just the ones that I had selected. So slightly long winded approach. We have two options that we can use here. One is just simply using a navigate to the page. That's probably going to be the simplest one to use. But if you did want something extra to that, like for example, visibility hidden or shown of other items on that page, we would use a bookmark. But if you do use a bookmark, make sure you set the bookmark not to have the data settings remembered. You will still need to set up the sync slicer. Um, and this can only be done on a slicer visual. You can't set up sync slicer on another type of visual. Okay, there it is in a nutshell. I hope that's been useful. And of course, as always, thank you for listening.